You know what? I'm sick and tired of Biden and Blinken and their media. I'm sick and tired of these people claiming that they're defending democracy. And if our candidate, Donald Trump, was elected president, democracy will be destroyed, we'll have a dictatorship, so forth and so on. Is it not they who keep talking about fundamentally transforming America? Is it not they, little Dick Durbin the other day, who's telling us that illegal immigrants of today are the people who will build America tomorrow? Is it not they who are attacking our fundamental civil liberties? And they go on talking about democracy. They don't even understand that we live in a republic. The framers rejected a democracy. Why? Because democracies are about mobocracies, and you can't have a Bill of Rights in a democracy. Where do the rights come from? If you dare tell them they come from God, oh, you must be a Christian nationalist. But I'm sick of it. And then they say, Trump keeps saying, retribution. He's going to have retribution in his political. They're trying to put the man in prison. They've charged him with 91 counts, 34 farcical felonies in New York. They're trying to put his lawyers in prison, take their bar tickets away. You've got Peter... What's his last name, Mr. Peter? Peter, who's in prison right now? Navarro, I'm sorry, I apologize. Peter Navarro in prison, they're trying to put Bannon in prison. They want old ladies who are protesting at abortion clinics thrown in prison. And they talk about, oh, retribution. They want retribution? Retribution for what? For what? They're the ones using the law against us and our people. And they sit there and they pose as great believers in liberty. I'm fed up. I want to give you an example. I wasn't even planning going on this direction, but my blood is boiling. This guy, Chris Murphy out of Connecticut, he's a low life. Absolute low life. So he's on CNN today. By the way, do any of these politicians work, Mr. Producer? They go on every cable channel. Endlessly. During the week. Not talking about the weekends, my show. During the week. But here's this this puke, this punk. Chris Murphy. On CNN Today. Cut eight, go. Uh, The reality is that Republicans sort of brazen decision to endorse the justice system's decision making when it convicts a Democrat like the president's son and decision to call the system rigged when it convicts a Republican like the former president. Is this man really this stupid or is he just pretending to be stupid so he can make a false political point? Either way, he's a punk. He's a punk. What took place in New York wasn't a legal System. It wasn't a justice system, certainly not one that we recognize. What took place in Wilmington was exactly a justice system. And you know all the ugly particulars. We don't know the crimes. The crimes had, had run their course. The statute of limitations in the state, such as they were, such as these are crimes, they already ran. We don't know what the federal crime was. We know what happened to witnesses, witnesses that couldn't be called, witnesses that couldn't finish their thought processes, a lack of notice, a lack of due process, a lack of equal uh, equal protection, a conflicted judge, a Soros prosecutor, and this jackass, Chris Murphy, compares that to what took place in the federal courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware? And he wants you to believe that they're equivalent. That's why we have these leftists who find a moral equivalency between a terrorist organization like Hamas and a free country with a free people like Israel. Are they really that stupid? No, they're ideologues. They're ideologues. So Donald Trump should just take it. 
His lawyer should just take it. His former advisor should just take it. Indicting them, trying to bankrupt them. Having their law licenses removed. Warfare, lawfare, call it whatever you want. And then if Trump becomes president, he should pretend none of that ever happened. None of that ever happened. It's like election denying. They denied every election from 2000, George W. Bush, 2004, George W. Bush, Trump, 2016. We know who they are. We have all the audio. But when it comes to 2020, that's the great question for the debate, according to Bill Clinton's hatchet man that's trashed and smeared women who dared, dared to come out and point a finger at Clinton as molesting them. He's the big host on ABC News. Go ahead with this Chris Murphy, please. Go ahead. It's a real worrying advertisement from Republicans that they are planning to potentially use the justice system as a mechanism to target Trump's political opponents. Isn't this um, precious? Now, I don't speak for Donald Trump, the campaign, or anybody. I speak for myself. But isn't this precious? So the nation be the nation should be in fear that if Trump becomes president, he might do to them what they've done to him. Think about that. So don't vote for Trump. Vote for Biden. Who is it? Tacking all of his political opponents, trying to put them in prison. With this pathetic attorney general. He gets away with something like that. See, CNN's not going to confront. This is why these, these fools won't come on my show. This is why they won't come on the show. Because I would say to this, this buffoon, Wait, let me get this straight. So you guys use the Justice Department to go after a former president. You tip your hat and wink at your Democrat DAs in Democrat cities. You find what took place in the Manhattan case. Any lawyer who finds that what took place in that case is legitimate is not worth having a license. I can tell you that right now. But that's okay. So if the same thing were done to Chris Murphy, that's not okay. That's exactly what we mean about two types of justice. And when you have two types of justice, you have no justice. When you have two types of justice, you have no justice. Chris Murphy, that's what he's saying. They're open to using the justice system as a political tool to persecute opponents if they get into power. The hypocrisy. The idiocy of that statement. You have a problem with that, Chris Murphy? How come you haven't said anything about... On the one hand, you say what happened to Donald Trump is good, and the Republicans, look at how they attacked the system. But when it comes to, to Biden's son, Hunter, that's okay. Biden's son, Hunter, had a sweetheart deal like nobody's ever seen in the history of our republic. The judge stopped it. The judge said, what is this? That deal fell apart. Hunter Biden and his lawyer, Abby Lowell, stormed out of the courtroom. David Weiss, the prosecutor, circled back, tried to cut another deal with him. Another sweetheart deal. They wouldn't do it. We'll take our chances in court. They go in court. Where's the court? Wilmington, Delaware. Jury of their peers. More than their peers. Biden's constituents. Biden's constituents. And they have notice of what the crimes are. You don't have to resuscitate any crimes where the statute of limitation is run. Witnesses weren't interrupted. There wasn't any collateral evidence. The jury rules were kosher, straightforward. All that's supposed to take in a court take place in a courtroom. That's why nobody can criticize this. The guy was guilty as hell. He lied on an application, a federal application, to purchase a gun. While he was still an addict. And his girlfriend, how sick is this, who was his brother's wife, threw the gun in the trash can and it still had cocaine residue on it. According to Chris Coons, that's, that's all right, he understands. That's the same thing as Donald Trump with trumped up charges, state charges, 
on a, on a uh, non-disclosure agreement. 34 felonies. So he says, hey, they're the same. See, these, these idiot Republicans, no, we have brains. We can see the difference. People, apparently the people who vote for Chris Murphy in Connecticut do not. Because this is what passes for logic. When it's the opposite. And then he says, can you believe it? They're talking about going after their political opponents. Are you kidding me? You, you damn fools wrote the book. Look at Rudy Giuliani today. Look at uh, Peter Navarro today. Look at Steve Bannon today. Look at the whole crowd today. All of them. Look at John Eastman. And look at Donald Trump. From courtroom to courtroom to courtroom to courtroom. And this jackass says, look, they're, they're planning on using... No. Equal justice. You guys have created a precedent. The precedent stands. That's as far as Mark is concerned. So you can go on CNN that has no ratings, no viewers, and whine all the hell you want, pal. You can't use the legal and political equivalent of nuclear weapons and then expect the response to be a water pistol. That's my view. 